Well, I put in at Wolf Creek Marina today, and oh my goodness, it was a long walk. They make you park on the top of this hill that's like, I don't know, half a mile? Probably not half a mile. Probably a third of a mile up that dang hill. But man, walking up that hill at the end of the day is going to be rough. Hopefully, I'll hitch a ride with somebody that's at the ramp or something. But if not, we'll just walk. It ain't going to kill us. We have an off day tomorrow. This is the last day of practice. So I got some different stuff tied, in, tied on, some smaller baits, some bigger baits, some deeper baits. So we're going to try to find some deeper stuff. What I'm trying to target today is there's a lot of buck brush that grew up when this lake was super, super low. So I'm going to try to graph and try to find some of that stuff that's a little bit deeper offshore, maybe like 8 to 10 foot deep that you really can't see or deeper than that that you can't see and throw a swim bait and jerk bait in the top of that. So that's the plan right now. But for the first hour or two, we're going to run the bank shallow and just see what kind of quality's up there. So far, it seemed like the quality's not real good up there, mostly two pounders, caught one, three and a half. So let's go get it started. That is pretty cool. That's a lot of water, a whole lot. I mean, came off the bank like a dang shark. Made me think he was a good one. That might be a keeper. But either way, he uh, crushed the Wapa Plopper. Crushed it. Holy crap. I thought, I thought it was a four pounder. So I don't know if y'all can see that, but I just saw a three pounder sitting up on the bank. Threw my buzz bit over there to it. And I obviously don't have a hook on. So I didn't catch him. He's about a three pounder sitting right back there beside his tree. And as soon as I hit the water, he
tiny one. He got some pretty color on him though. Look how pretty he is. Little spotted bass. I've been out there dragging around, throwing that drop shot around. Come catch me a 2.5. Good one. I don't know, man. It is uh, tough. I don't think this is going to hold up, especially not for day two. But uh, we'll just have to see. I mean, I can't get anything else going, so that's all i got to go on. So either way, at least I do have a way to catch them. Uh, at least I do have a way where I have been catching them. Don't mean it's going to hold up for the tournament, but for right now, it's good. I wish the turn was today. would have had a big bag if the turn was today because I did shake off two around three pounds, caught a four. And, you know, I've caught a keeper smallmouth, shook off a couple more that I didn't see. So, either way, I'm excited for the tournament. Hopefully, we can catch some. We'll have good condition on day one. It's going to rain all day. We'll throw top water all day. Day two is going to be real cold and real sunny. So, uh, day two, I don't know what we're going to do. It's going to be a tough. We're just going to be tough. We'll just figure it out like we always do during the tournament. Sun is setting. Lake Cumberland is very beautiful, especially on that sunset right there. But it's not that easy to catch them big smallies. I really, really wanted to catch them smallmouth. I fished for them a lot, a lot, lot, lot. I actually didn't fish the bank as much as it looks like in these videos. Just when I went to the bank, I caught fish. So smallmouth eluded me this week. I did catch a couple good ones, not off anything special, but oh well. I guess we're going for whatever bites. Hopefully we'll have five largemouth a day and they'll weigh about 15, three every day and we'll win this thing. Uh, like I said earlier, day two is gonna be brutal. It's gonna be cold, gonna be post frontal, but that's all right. We can't worry about day two. You're about wait day one right now. If you like that video, leave a like, leave a comment, hit that subscribe button. I appreciate y'all watching. I'm gonna be back to posting for a while. So if y'all like that, hit that subscribe button. See y'all. That's what we came looking for right there. That's exactly what we came here looking for. And he blew a hole on it the first time. And just missed it. Plopper. Nice small one. I'm going to weigh him and see what he weighs. I know what kind of weight we need for this tournament. So I'm going to weigh this one see what he weighs. I'm going to guess it's like a 2.5 two maybe. But I'm not really well versed in the smallies. Two nine, so that's over a two and a half. One thing that's making me want to fish for smallies is normally this fish would not be a keeper. So this is a 17 and a quarter inch fish. Normally that would not be a keeper, but they have gave us a, what do they call it? Some kind of a, they got some kind of a pass where they can weigh in 15 inch smallies this week. They're going around the state law through because they're having such a big tournament here. So we're able to weigh in 15 inch smallies. So I figure there's gonna be quite a few of those 17 inchers to be caught because obviously every time you come here, you catch a lot of 17 and a half inchers, right? 
So five 17 and a half inches should be significantly easier than five 18 inches. So we're gonna fish for smallies for a while. Big old spot ate the jig. That's what people are saying. They're saying that the weights are going to be lower than people are thinking. Look at that spot. God, you see how fat that sucker is? <laughs> Dang. Look at that big old spot. Oh my goodness. I gotta weigh this thing just to see. Cause he ain't even that long. Look how fat he is. Holy crap, dude. I ain't throwing out there no more. I'm, I'm saving that for the tournament. I mean, we, we still got uh, like four days till the tournament, but I'm not gonna catch no more right here. Two eight spot, dude. Spots don't get that big. Oh my gosh. I've heard though there's a lot of three pound spots in here. I guess this concrete goes out a pretty good way. Caught a two and a half pound small mouth today in the net spot, probably pound three quarters. That's a good one. I need, I need like two of those a day, and I'll win a lot of money this week. Yeah. I'm not, it's my first day ever on this lake. I went, I started in the back going to walk a flopper. Oh, in the back that's sunken. I just fixed them all. I didn't catch him, but it looks really, really good. I threw a top water over it, and I should have threw this jig around it. But I, I, didn't, I didn't even have a jig tied on whenever I was over there. Or I, I would have, but I just threw that whopper plopper around it. I never caught one. I saw some small ones swimming around back there, though, in the back of it. species. 
just caught a spot, throw it back over there and catch a largemouth. 